there's obviously a lot of conversation around what it looks like to be a woman in business right now. Are there opportunities for women in business? And I think there is, you know, that conversation is really important. But I also think it's actually a really exciting time to be a woman in business, where you know you look at, at the industry and you know it's so exciting to be able to start something and have your efforts get noticed, have amazing companies here in Chicago, amazing women around Chicago that are so excited to see a new young female entrepreneur doing amazing things and they're so willing to pull that entrepreneur up, help make sure that their story gets told and, and heard about. So it's really, I think, an exciting time to be a female entrepreneur and, you know, it's, it's I think maybe even a little bit easier than any other time in history to have your story get told and have your story get heard. Talking to as many people as you can, um, everybody has something they can teach you. Um, you know, one of the big challenges for entrepreneurs is time. You know, you don't have time to do everything that you want to do. You're, you're like, oh, I, if I could just stop the rest of the world for two weeks, do two weeks worth of work, and then take the unpause button off, I'd feel like I'd caught up. Well. That's never going to happen. Um, and so you always have to be really careful with your time and how you spend it. I saw entrepreneurs as a certain type of person. I saw them as, you know, um, it's, it's a very male dominated field. It's a, um, especially the field of technology. And, um, and, and I think now that I'm at a place where I'm in this field, I know that I can do it in my own way. I can bring kind of my own personality and my own strengths into this role, and, and that's huge. What I would say to you know, myself 10 years ago or longer is that you, know, you don't have to have the tech background. You don't have to even have any area of deep expertise. If you have a great idea and you have like the will and determination to make it become a reality, you really can make it happen. And there are resources out there, whether it's an incubator or you know a women's business development center, there are places out there, or mentors even, that can help you validate your idea and figure out if this is something worth pursuing. The first step is always the hardest, and the hardest words are the first time you say, I'm an entrepreneur. But once you do say it, it's a lot easier after that. And once you sort of get the wheels turning, it's much easier. My number one rule in business is to show up. So if someone invites you somewhere to go to an event, even though I may feel tired or exhausted, I push myself to show up and go, and there might be an opportunity there. So I think that by showing up is a first step in building your network and building a brand for yourself and building your business. As we continue to grow a, a larger cohort of, of um, women in tech and women in business owners that are mentors, I think um, what you do is just take that first step, right? So don't be scared of sharing your idea with someone that could be a stranger. You never know if they may want to help you or they can pass you a business card of someone that they know that can help you. People want to help you. If you have a good idea, a good story, uh, you, you are yourself, that's another thing. Be yourself, don't pretend to be anybody else. Don't pretend to be somebody that, you know, like more than you. Be yourself and project yourself. People will help you. So if what's holding you back from a startup is the completely legitimate and justified fear that you don't know how or you don't have the resources, find some little teeny part that you can do right now. And it might be sitting down with someone that you know who's done it before, or someone you know who thinks you ought to do it, or going and looking at the area of town where you think it might be, or volunteering for another nonprofit or other startup organization as an intern if it's a for-profit context, to say, I'd like to like, learn a little bit more about this. But if there is even a small step you can take towards your startup, that's a much bigger step than the one you didn't take yesterday. Being in a startup environment and what they call the startup life definitely encompasses that method of, of thinking and that lifestyle. And um, being in that type of environment, you can thrive and you can learn so much. And one of the things that I learned there is that failure is actually a great word. Failure means that you're brave enough to try things out all the time. And the more you try things out and the more you fail, the quicker you learn what doesn't work. And the quicker you learn what doesn't work is how you're gonna find what does work, and that's what matters. I mean, I got in there, took a little bit of tinkering, and I figured it out. And every time I figure something out, I'm always like, yes! And I feel like a rock star because, you know, 
you can do it. You can do it. And you're so scared and so intimidated. But the truth is, if you just get in there and give it a try, you're a smart girl. You can figure it out. And I, I was too scared and I let that hold me back for um, a long time. But, um, you know, in the end, technology is getting easier and easier and easier to work with. And then it comes down to your service, your vision, your brand. Stop thinking about doing a tech startup. Just do a tech startup. I, I can't stand the women who come and talk about, you know, I've been thinking about this for a few months and there's a lot of fear that I'm going to fail at this. And You're going to fail and you're going to fail 50 times and that's great because if you don't fail, no one's going to care about what you're doing, no one's going to listen to it and you're not going to have the experience of, I failed and now it's better. You need to. So embrace the failure, embrace being wrong because you're going to be a kick-ass entrepreneur and you're going to succeed way better than the people who don't admit it and who think they know what they're doing and tell you that they've got it all figured out. Stay away from those people. So just do it. Just dive in. Just start right now. Stop watching. Start right now. Ha, ha, ha.